Hey guys, welcome back! I'm Emma and we're playing Dragon Age Origins. So, last time we discovered that we had been rescued by Flemeth and Morgan and we figured out that we really just need to, to do something about all this and figure out a way <laughs> to defeat the Blight despite the fact that most of the Grey Wardens are wiped out now. So, Flemeth sent Morgan with us. Shh, chubby puppy. And now, and now we're in Lothring and trying to come up with a game plan. So let's do it. Now last time they got really argumentative, so we'll see if that's something that's going to be a constant. Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. <sighs> you have something against elves? I don't know you. Why shouldn't I have something against you? We've got enough strangers overrunning us. Nothing but trouble. We can intimidate him. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. Why are you being so rude? Do you know about those bandits outside the village? Best thing that's happened to Lothering. Bandits will keep the rabble out if Sir Bryant and his lot won't. This one's just a charmer. Who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Snarky makes Snarkerson. Well, what's going on here? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. I should go. Don't let me stop you. <sighs> the ambient sounds of crying in the background are not reassuring. I can't believe that Kunari creature isn't dead yet. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Okay. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Are we talking about the dark spawn? Or... I'm just going to wander around and talk to people so we can get a hold of what's going on here. You didn't tell us too, too, too much. I mean, it's what you would expect from a city during a blight. I just want to make sure there aren't, like, goodies stashed anywhere. I don't like how, like, when you pick it, it doesn't go away. You know? I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Where can we go? This is no better than what we left. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing <laughs> to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. <sighs> That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm scared. When are we going home? This, this would be an awful predicament for children. I don't want to take their stuff, though. Maybe of course. Rose, if you're watching this, teach me how to put items on. Okay. Well, all right. Oh, those are the boots we can't have. Because I don't know how to dress myself. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Does anyone see what... Alistair is doing over there. 
You having a fun time, friend? It's Templar. We were you. lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many didn't. They really kill them? I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. So we're not getting a whole bunch. I can't believe that Canari creature isn't dead yet. We do need to go check out this Canari. And if you guys don't know what a Canari is, we're gonna find out soon enough. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. I know, because you're shitty protector, Templar. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. Okay, so it looks like talking to refugees really doesn't get us anywhere. Move on it's if Templar. you can. Lothering's lost. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. I mean, at least he was nice. Can I ask a few questions? I'm just out here to keep an eye out for Darkspawn. Please ask someone in town. No offense. Is anyone in charge here? The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Okay. I'm sorry you didn't get to ask him about rob people. These have names, at least. You Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? Yes, of course. Oh, why can't I want to give him things? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. Surely you understand. But I want to help! Why can't I help? <sighs> I'm so sorry for your situation, but I can't help. Never mind, Hale. It's no use. Not even one of our own will help us. Mother! Why? I just want to help. I just want to help. Leave us be. There's nothing we can do for you, and apparently nothing you can do for us. Don't be mean. You said you were robbed. Yes. Bandits set upon us. Right in sight of the town. Maybe if we go back to the bandits. Please. Okay. Can anyone help us with a bit of bread? Let's see. Let's see if we can't go and confront the bandits, maybe? <clears throat> I don't know if there's actually something we can do or not, but it's worth a try. Cause I, I want to be able to help. Of course. Yeah! <gasps> oh my shit! Uh. Well, this is not what I wanted, but I guess we're the ones taking care of it now. Uh. Uh. I didn't want to handle this with violence. Oh. Can we? Can we? Kill things? Please kill them. Thank you. We are right. victorious again. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. And you need to give me back that bread, sir. What? Get by? You're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. That sounds heartfelt. Um... Ha! Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. You better. I don't want to recruit them. Um, what do you guys think? I don't want to kill them. We, we got the stuff back that we needed, and they're going to leave these guys alone. So 
let's just say, and start running and don't come back. Bless you! The Darkspawn can have this place! Now turn your lives around, friends. Let's go get bread to these people. Can I not interact? Those chests. And so I shall. I am literally going to take stuff out of my stuff well, if right. I can't do this. Trap trigger. I don't really care about that. Is that it? There's got to be more than this. Really? Balls. Let's get something out of our inventory because we might need that longsword. It might, like, be a quest item for somebody else. Oh, look at all this shit. Um, what can we get rid of? Plot items, crafting, other? The death root extract, concentrated venom. Oh, can I just coat my weapon in it? Use, use. Oh, I was hoping you would get rid of it. Um, slower and slower bracelet, sapphire. Oh, I don't know what to get rid of. I don't know what's going to be useful. It's not. Non-plot items. Acid flask. I don't want this. Boom. Destroy. We did it, friends. I don't want the trap triggers. I want this. Okay. Hopefully. Let's go talk to the elves now. And see if that doesn't make a difference. I really hope it makes a difference. Because that's such shit. I mean, I would sell stuff and, like, buy them bread if the game would let me, you know? Leave us be. There's nothing we can do for you, and apparently nothing you can do for us. Hear me out, friend. So you said you were robbed. Yes. Bandits set upon us. Right inside of the town. Uh, that's the only two more we get? I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Yeah, we did it! Mama. We did it. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. We made a difference in the world. There's a little boy. What is your name? Can I not hover over your name? Oh, it's just a little boy. Cool. Glad we had the stock. Back oh. off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <sighs> Let's see. Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Rabble? You don't think you're being uh, unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Okay, so the end result I kind of am looking for here is for this guy not to be a dick anymore. But given our options, it's 
the only way we can really get there is to intimidate him. I don't want to be like that guy. You know what I mean? But... Let's go. Let's go with the persuade option. I think you can compromise and still make a profit. No? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. The story of every character in a video game. Okay, so. Now we can finally sell our stuff. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I am. I am indeed. Let's see what you have. All right. Just don't buy everything up. I'll do whatever I want. Okay, so. We've got a lot of health things. I don't really need any lyrium, because I'm not a mage. And sorry, Morgan, I'm just not going to keep them hanging around. So. So. Let's have all this fun time selling all this shit. I'm not going to be really super concerned <laughs> with um, a lot of these like buffs and whatnot. Uh, do I need that for crafting? Gross. So it's just for making a poison. Actually, I'll get finished doing this and pick you guys up when I get done so you don't have to sit here and watch me clean up my bag. Okay, so welcome back. I equipped everybody with things I thought they might need and now we're good to go again. Okay, oh, it looks like we have a tiny tutorial over here. Chubby puppy, don't dig. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, look, there's a treasure chest. Oh, but it's locked. Not ours. Okay. Let's see. Can we talk to them again? What do you wish of me? I'd like to discuss something personal. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. We can insult her, my goodness. Never mind. Goodness. It's basically just to be like, why are you here? Or you're heartless. So what rude. do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. That doesn't mean I don't mourn his loss. I, I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. That's not his fault. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Mm. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. No, I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. The Dalish don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? We bury them and plant a tree over their remains. That sounds quite beautiful. Life springing from death. Thank you. Really. I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little.
Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you. When you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Oh. Oh! We got some serious Alistair approves points. Plus six. We talked what do you wish again. of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Goodness. That doesn't sound like something that you do. Oh? I truly doubt that children would be worth the effort. They are filthy, smelly things full of tears and snot and trouble. That said, I cannot speak for the tastes of my mother. She has, after all, lived a very lengthy time in the wilds and done many things I know nothing of. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? There have been Dalish keepers who use similar magic. Oh? Then I have no doubt your people do much to keep their talents well hidden from humans. I wonder if I was to ask one of your keepers of the origin of their magics if there would be any relation to what I was taught. That would be intriguing, wouldn't it? I may even ask my mother about it some day, though I doubt she would tell the truth of it even so. Such is her way. Flemeth really just relishes her mystery factor. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do the other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus they cannot speak, even were I to ask. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? No, it's so cool. I think your abilities sound quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. We got approval ratings from both of them. Now, um, when I was going through the inventory and selling things off, I did notice that several were labeled as gifts. And so I kept those. I'm not quite sure how to give them yet. I know, chubby puppy. But we'll soon figure that out. Okay, so we sold all our things. The Chanters are still operating their board. How <laughs> that dedication. Are you saying this has to do with the Chantry? And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. 
Um, greetings? <laughs> he just nods and smiles at me. Smile back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word <sighs> dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. What's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. That has to be frustrating to basically be only, only be able to quote Bible verses as your responses, essentially. It's like a vow of silence, then. He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. <sighs> Damn, we get to get sacrilegious if we want. The maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say to that? The next option is Achandra says what? Have anything of interest on the board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. I'll take that as a yes. So we'll go ahead and pick us up some quests. Bandits, bandits, bandits. Okay. So I think that um, there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. And so it looks like we get to go do away with them. We don't get to keep it? Okay, that works. So it looks like we just gained a quest. Yeah, quest updated. Your king is dead. Look how there is no hope. This guy needs to settle the down. The of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This woman bears their evil stench! Can't you not see the vile blackness that fills her? <laughs> the first option. Ignore him, people. I know I intend to. Darkspawn will feast on our flesh! Everyone will die! Your king is dead! Darkspawn will feast Can on we not your do living anything hearts! About this? You again! Can you all not smell the evil? This one is tainted! <sighs> Calm down. The Darkspawn can be fought and beaten. No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! He needs to calm himself. You poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn! It must have been horrible. How did you escape? I... I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. See? Kill him with kindness. I am sorry for your loss. Why am I here? I still know how to go! <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Here we got a persuade option. There's always hope. Master your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. I thought we did this. Get out of here. Oh, okay, good. He's gone. I was about to say.
say. <laughs> Hello, Templar. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Do we want to go into the Chantry? I say we cut it here, guys. We'll leave the Chantry for another time. So we, we did some good deeds today. We helped the elven people. We helped this guy kind of confront his loss and stop terrorizing everyone else in the town. And we've encouraged these people to get up off their feet, get up off their butts, and get on their feet, and go do something about this. Because yelling and screaming and throwing a fit never helped anybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you.